the first cloud on the horizon in the relationship occurred with Romney's paintings after the triumphs of Temper and his, his paintings of Serena. Romney obviously thought he was doing Haley a good turn or popularizing in, in some way the, 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 the poem. I don't think that Romney himself, you know, judging by the pictures, was terribly committed to the poem. I don't think that those are among his finest pictures. He did four or five of them and he selected different episodes. Serena reading Till the Dawn of Day by her candle. There's a sort of curious nod in the direction of Joseph Wright of Derby in the way that it, it combines an artificial light source, the candle, and the breaking day, a natural light. I just wondered whether that was in Romney's mind as he, as he made that version of the picture. Then there, there was also Serena in the Boat of Apathy, which is um, very similar in a, certain ways to Psyche in Charon's Boat. There's a different version of Serena reading, and then there's a, a later one of Emma as Serena reading the Gazette, a sort of unfinished sketch, which is you know, a delightful picture. Haley's very quiet about those pictures, and I think he was disappointed in them because they adumbrate Romney's vision of, um, of the poem and, and, and not his own intentions. So that comes along in the first half of the 1780s and then in the, around 1785 when Haley publishes the essay on old maids. There's some kind of, not exactly dissension, but unwillingness or reluctance on Romney's part. It's a job he didn't really want and one could, of course, put that down to the unsavouriness of the subject matter. I don't think it's that at all. I, I just think that Romney was wary of Haley's ideas not meshing with his own and refusing to compromise. He, he, he never would compromise his own ideas. However, they might have been informed by a literary advisor. The style of those drawings seems particularly sort of lacking in authority. The line is kind of wishy-washy and the anatomy is particularly unstudied and unbelievable in virtually all of them. One of the designs, Farmerus attending Kunaza and Keziah with the child. The composition is quite blatantly cribbed from the infant Shakespeare nursed by tragedy and comedy, which probably dates from early to mid 1780s. When Romney came to actually making a painting based on that cartoon, which he did quite a long time later, he had to kind of reinvent his own cartoon, which he was obviously intended to be used for his, own, his painting, but because he cribbed it for the um, essay on old maid's drawing, he couldn't, he couldn't blatantly just reuse it. He won't have his name attached to the prince. Haley has Thomas Stoddart as the draftsman for The Triumphs of Temper and the essay on old maids. There's a, a big gap between the rather stiff and literary illustration type drawing that appears as a print supposedly by Stoddard and Romney's very loose and um, modern looking drawings. The composition is recognisably Romney's, but he won't acknowledge it. It's true that he does that with any illustration that he's requested to do that's going to appear in, in a book. Uh, I think Pat Jaffe had it right when she said um, there was a, sort of a programme attached to being thought of as a book illustrator, whereas his own name appears quite readily on prints that are after his own paintings that are stand, you know, that are standalone prints. He doesn't mind that at all. In fact, you know, he's, he's hand in glove with numerous printmakers to kind of propagate his, his work. But here he's got a different approach altogether. And that's partly, I'm sure, a, a reflection of um, his sense that Haley's ideas for illustrating literature are very, very different from his own.